2023 has been a fruitful year for the First Gethsemane Baptist Church. Our theme this year was to be continued, uh, taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. It says in these words, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All of the believers were together and had everything in common. Verse number 45 says, they sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and together with glad and sincere hearts. Verse 47 says in these words, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people and the Lord added to their number daily, those who were being saved. Here is our ministry report for the year of 2023 to be continued. The year 2023 has been a testament to our commitment to growth, efficiency, and serving the Lord through meticulous administration. I am reminded of Colossians 3.23 that states, whatever you do, work at it with your whole heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. It is my joy to share with you the strives we've made with our church administration ministry for 2023. This year, we have embarked on a transformative journey towards operational excellence, deepening our ministry's impact with the introduction of key performance indicators, KPIs, vital tools that reflect our commitment to serving God through our administrative roles. This year's focus has been on establishing KPIs that are crucial for assessing the efficiency and effectiveness of our administrative operations. Let me share some key highlights. Accuracy of records. We've embraced the process of updating our member records, ensuring that every member feels acknowledged and valued through our membership update forms that allow for us to identify our current active members, both in person and online, and by utilizing spiritual assessments to connect our new members with ministries that align with their gifts, thus echoing the word found in 1 Corinthians 12, 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. Efficiency in task completion. By switching our project management system to Microsoft Teams, we are able to monitor our tasks more efficiently, thus helping us to serve the congregation and leadership better and faster. Membership engagement. We've started measuring our responsiveness and the quality of our interactions, integrating modern communication methods like text messages, peak at the week, First G Times newsletter, and dynamic social media engagement on our First G Church Facebook and Instagram pages, First G TV YouTube channel, and our church website. Event coordination. Our tracking here supports the various ministries in their outreach, events, and annual days, focusing on budget adherence and overall participation. Facilities management. We are closely monitoring our church's facility usage and maintenance daily to ensure our physical space meets our church and community needs. Technology updates and management. We have upgraded to a new, more robust software suite. This multifaceted platform promises better collaboration, improved software access, and heightened security. By adopting and leveraging these changes, we continue to set the standard for technology integration within the church and serve as an inspiration for other faith-based organizations throughout the community. Acknowledgements. This year's success would not have been possible without the commitment and assistance from our dedicated office volunteers. Whether they serve for part of the year or throughout, their contributions have been invaluable. Special thanks to Sister Denise Osborne, Sister Susan Dennis, Sister Gloria Burrell, Sister Connie Fraction, 
and Brother Walter Holbrook for their tireless efforts. We also extend our gratitude to the admin support team, Sister Rhea Chandler, Sister Lakita Jenkins, Sister Kim Rogers, and Sister Candace Waller, an online member who continues to support and serve remotely. Their dedication has been a cornerstone of our administrative effectiveness. Looking forward, continuous improvement and growth. We look forward to growing and refining our administrative processes, inspired by Philippians 1, 9 through 10. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Our goal is to create an environment where everyone can feel the love of God and the warmth of our church community. Thank you, each and every one of you, for your unwavering support and faith. Let us continue to grow in service and love, following the path God has laid out for us. Blessings to all. Congregational and Community Care Report for the year of 2023. Now this year, we continue to be the hands and feet of God through congregational and community care, and we did this through a myriad of ways. We reimagined and restructured our care team by assigning each First G member to a tribe according to the first letter of their last name. Tribe of Benjamin, A through F. Tribe of Judah, G through M. Tribe of Reuben, N through S. Tribe of Zebulun, T through Z. Our deacons and ministers have served very well. In fact, one bereaved family from another church said we should train other churches on how to do congregational care. Care team, I wanna say thank you uh, for your service, service to the Lord and to his church. We also added a grief share ministry. The purpose of the First G Church Grief Share Ministry is to provide a safe haven and a support group that will encourage and comfort those that are experiencing bereavement. In the first year of our existence, a cohort of grieving members and even non-members met with me on the last Tuesday of each month and were blessed. It was said so often throughout this year by our participants that I didn't know I needed this ministry, but I thank you for this ministry. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall certainly be comforted. We have made our Benevolence Fund available to members uh, that were in need this year as well to aid them through their adversity. Everyone that expressed the need had that need met in full sufficiency. Our outreach ministry continued to love, serve, and give as well uh, through giving away clothes, food, and toiletries to those that were in need. We continued with our major Thanksgiving giveaway, with, which amounted to about, a, you know, giving meals approximately around 600 uh, meals uh, on this past November. And we also uh, took it a step further with our Angel Tree Initiative, uh, which blessed approximately 25 uh, children to make sure that they have a good Christmas this year. And this year, uh, we will have our church uh, Christmas dinner uh, for the community. Uh, that will be held on the 17th of December, and we are partnering uh, with our councilman, Philip Baker, and we will feed uh, 100 individuals on that day. Our First Gethsemane Center for uh, Family Development had another impactful year in reducing barriers of success for individuals and families. Uh, this year, uh, the board finished their term of service and they ended it with a bang uh, during our second annual fundraising gala. I want to say thank you to all of our board members uh, for your service and your sacrifice. I believe the best for you is still yet to come. Uh, the CFD uh, annual report uh, will be shared in January on our website, uh, firstgcfd.org. Christian Education Report for the year of 2023. We don't just go here, we grow here. And Christian education has a lot to do with that. We started off the year with an amazing leadership conference on effective evangelism with my friend and brother, Dr. Myron Edmonds of the Grace Seventh-day Adventist Church of Cleveland, Ohio. Our Sunday school classes continue to edify the saints right here at First G Church every single Sunday. 
We also started a Bible cast this year that absolutely took off and produced fruit instantly as we continue to serve within this digital age. Our Vacation Bible School uh, educated and empowered us this year to know how to deal with the twists and turns of this life. And we were absolutely blessed in faith and in fellowship. We also made some, some good history this year as we welcomed our esteemed moderators from the Central District Association. A thank you to moderator Drake, Pastor Alice French, and to my frat brother, Dr. Eric French, for your timely messages. I'm also grateful uh, that we were able to relaunch our nursery ministry. Uh, this time around, we have branded it as Children's Ark. Our tiny tots from ages six weeks to four years old are learning about Jesus on a level in which they can comprehend him. Uh, thank you to all of our volunteers. Our kid zone is still on the grow. Uh, while parents and guardians are enjoying worship upstairs, there is another first year experience going on downstairs that is totally geared towards ages five through 12. On average, our amazing Kids on staff ministers to 30 young children every Sunday. We are also proud to report that our teens are being developed into disciples for Christ through our partnership between our teen ministry and the Greater Louisville Youth for Christ. They continue uh, to meet every Thursday evening at the T. Von Walker Center for Family Development. Thank you to all of our volunteers for investing in our teens. Our new members orientation was consistently attended and completed this year. Every quarter, we welcomed new members into the First G Nation family. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. And thank you so much uh, to our new members, ministry leaders and supporters. Uh, we are so excited about the growth that's taking place right here at the First G Church through the means of our Christian education department. Good evening, First G family. It's Brother Carl Moore, and I am your Minister of Worship and Media Arts, and I'm humbled to share the WAM Ministry Report for 2023. The Exodus 36 Project was the catalyst to launching First G into the vision of Pastor Harris in becoming a multi-generational church in worship and our media ministries. Our efforts did not stop with the completion of the initial phases of the Exodus 36 Project. In 2023, we saw a center camera angle as well as a far left camera angle addition. This affords us the ability to creatively capture the worship experience at First G with our online and live stream communities. Intentionality was at the forefront of our efforts as we strategically incorporated graphics with our video wall. These graphics serve to market events and programs here at First G and our local community. But furthermore, the video wall was used to aid and support the imagery necessary for the preaching of the gospel and worshiping our Lord and Savior. Specifically, on Mother's Day, Pastor Harris preached a sermon with the subject, When the Eagle Stirs Her Nest. We were literally able to see an eagle visually represented on the video wall. Another important upgrade was our soundboard and stage box. We've improved our sonic capabilities with the high quality preamps in our new setup. Audio over IP is a flexible method of routing signals to multiple locations while avoiding the hassles of analog cable and hard wiring. Our new soundboard and stage box provides us entry into that critical configuration. Media is experienced on multiple platforms in this current century, and First G has taken full advantage of this vehicle to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. While we continually improve upon our social media interactions on digital platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, 2023 saw the launch of the First G Nation podcast and Biblecast. Season one of both series provided the First G community a chance to hear conversations with our pastor and guest presenters using modern methods to share a major message. Worship at First G made improvements consistent with the vision of our pastor. Careful consideration led to revamping the service format and ultimately created an experience open to the Holy Spirit, rich in musical offerings to the Lord, and receptive to the Word of God. We also saw the incorporation of liturgical dance offerings within worship all year long. 
We happily saw the development of Kids Zone and our teen singing aggregations. And finally, we found a faithful and consistent musician within our drummer, and we added a powerful worship leader. 2023 has been a successful year for First G and our worship and media arts ministry. We owe that success and much more to our obedience to God and our continued support of the leader that God has blessed us with. Thank you. Growth Group's Report 2023. At First G, we have ministries for all ages and stages. These ministries offer our members a safe space to connect, to serve, and to grow. As we continue to come out of the rut and residue of the pandemic, I am humbled and happy to report that our members have re-engaged with our growth groups and our faith community is growing closer, growing stronger, and becoming so much better. Thank you to all of our ministry leaders for another outstanding year of service to Jesus Christ and his church. Let's take a little peek at a snapshot of what this year entailed for us and how God used us as a church family in a special way. <music>